Hello everyone, it's been a while, uh, I'm back out, well I've been going out a lot since anyway but uh, I've not recorded anything for three or four years. I'm currently walking through Bearercleave Wood which is just above Bubby Tracy, trying not to trip up, there's a lot of fallen branches and I'm going to explore some of the tours of Shaps Hall Wood and Great Rock Cops. So uh, come and join me. This is a really lovely little path. It takes me to uh, Bearercleave Middle Tour, which is one of the magnificent lesser known tours in this region. As some of you might already be aware, there are plenty of tours on the eastern side of Dartmoor that aren't named on modern ordnance survey maps. And there are loads in Shaps Hall Wood and Bearercleave Wood. In actual fact, I'm writing a book about all of these locations. Uh, I'm not going to go that way, I'm going to go this way. And that's due to be published in September. And here we are, Bearercleave Middle Tour, the southern outcrops of. Look at this magnificent tour. You can see why the boulderers like it so much. Come round the corner. walk under this magnificent rock underneath wow look at that a short distance away are the outcrops of Bearerclebe North Tor here here are some of them And here is the stone walrus. Can you see the resemblance? These are the upper outcrops of Higher Stonelands Tor. And the light is just peeping through the trees. Stunning. We're just approaching another tour. This one is called Middle Stonelands Tour. And I named it as such because it lies in the middle of Stonelands Waste. Just get around the corner a minute. There we are, that's part of it. And as you can see, the top of the tour has actually been cleared partially, which is ideal. I just love looking at the ivy growing up the rock, all these cracks, such a beautiful spot. And it's right by the permissive path through the wood as well, which means it's so easy to get to. Almost no effort at all. I've just left the main path because I'm going in search of perhaps the grandest tour in the wood on the approach to Shapsall Rock. What I'm approaching now is called Rook's Hole Tour and on Dartmoor a hole is normally an enclosed valley but obviously it's all wooded here so it's quite hard to pick that out but there's some outcrops up there in the sun but what I'm walking to is over here look at that wow that is awesome. That's not too bad, is it? It's quite a bit taller than me. Magnificent.
I know I said that Brooks Hall tour was pretty much the start of Shaps Hall Wood, with the exception of Shaps Hall Rock. However, Sunny Cops tour here is pretty much on the same level. It's hard to visualise the magnificent rocks that are here. Absolutely huge. And there's much more behind as well. Just through there is the next tour, which is known as Lower Shap Tour. Let's get to it. A oh, little bit claustrophobic in here today, where it is the height of summer. And there we are, Lower Shap Tour. If you haven't visited East Dartmoor before, it's really, really well worth visiting. It's not all easy, but at the same time, it is so rewarding. I mean, these tours that I've shown you so far, I mean, they're rarely visited and no one really calls them tours, which I find quite surprising because a lot of these are much more impressive than those on the open moor. And that's exactly what my book aims to communicate. Trenchford Tour. Little Trenchford Tour. Tossyford Reservoir is quite low. If we're lucky, we might get to see the prehistoric archaeology that was unearthed by Time Team in 2010, which includes two stone rows and a stone circle, which would normally be underwater. Under the water there are two stone rows and a stone circle. The water's a little bit too high to be able to see them, but they are there. I'm on Beedon Lane now, and if I were to turn left here, I'd go through Nettingcleave Wood towards Harner Rocks, Barton Down and Fleetwood Plantation, but I'm going to continue down Beedon Lane. Up there is a very large tor known as the Great Rock. It is certainly very great indeed. And this is Great Rock. Great Rock East. We're now approaching Great Rock Cops Tour. Bit of a mouthful, but this really is a magnificent tour. And as you can see, it's either side of a public footpath. Massive wall there. But the best part is over here. That lovely outcrop there. And then up here, steep. Oh, steep is this hamburger like rock it's like a stack great rock which i'm walking through is synonymous with the uh industry of micaceous hematite which was used in producing rust resistant paint it was found in many parts of east dartmoor but great rock mine was by far the largest of all the mines and 
had pretty good quality ore as well. It was also Dartmoor's last working metal mine, which closed in 1969. I mean, down there there's a ditch. That's probably a shaft. But it's quite dangerous walking off the path here. So you've really got to know where you're going. Or, if in doubt, just stick to the public footpath. Because you get to see a lot from that anyway. But yeah, it's a really, really interesting industry. Kelly Mine is another well-known mine that produced micaceous hematite, which, by the way, is a type of iron oxide. I'm not sure of the uh, chemical compound equation. I'm currently sat on this new memorial bench, and the views from here are absolutely stunning. What you're looking at used to be all a plantation, but it was felled a few years ago. In the centre of the frame, you can now see Heiner Rocks, a magnificent tour with amazing views. Uh, what else can you see? Holden Belvedere is around here somewhere, or St Lawrence Castle, but I can't quite pick it out. But yeah, just look at that view. Stunning. This is the upper outcrop of Twizzle Tree Tor. We're now entering the wonderful village of Hennock. Down here is a talky water mainstone, which is related to the pumping of the water from the three reservoirs. I'm just approaching five lanes uh, because there are five lanes here. So as I make my way back to the car on this very mundane road, I would like to thank everyone for watching, all that stuff that everyone says, all those professional YouTubers, which I'm certainly not. I don't intend to become one either. This video might be a one-off, you might not hear from me for five years, or you might hear from me next week. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching.